kuna kitu ambacho kinaweza kutokea katika maisha kisiondoke kabisa katika akili yako yani kikawa katika historia ya maisha yako aidha katika kazi ama katika mazingira ya tofauti yoyote katika maisha yako sasa bidada Thames kutoka Nigeria ni msanii ambaye anafanya vizuri and of course amekuwa successful tumeona amefanya shows tofauti tofauti nje ya mipaka ya Nigeria lakini na Afrika lakini ukizungumzia Nigeria ni sehemu ambayo wasanii wake hasa wachanga na waz, naweza nikasema hivyo wasanii ambao wana kama miaka mitatu minne mitano katika game wamekuwa ni wasanii ambao wanafanya vizuri sasa Thames ni moja kati ya wasanii ambao hawawezi kusahau tukio ambalo lilimkuta mwaka 2020 Disemba pale nchini Uganda majirani zetu hao bwana Thames alipata tatizo kuna ishu alipata alipofika katika uh, uh, ardhi ya Museven bwana Nakumbuka kipindi hicho ilikuwa ni katika kipindi cha COVID-19 na hapo kuna baadhi ya maeneo yalikuwa restricted yani yalifungiwa kwamba hakuna shows na vitu kama hivyo watu kuingia na kutoka lakini kukaa kuna maeneo mengine japokuwa yalifungiwa kulikuwa kuna authorization flani kitolewa watu wanaweza kupata shows na kuendelea na maisha mengine sasa terms ni bidada ambaye alijiingiza katika matatizo baada ya kukubali kufanya show ambayo haikuwa authorized sasa vitu ambavyo alivipata ama vitu ambavyo alivipitia baada ya kukamatwa. Anasema kwamba katika ule usiku wa kwanza alipokamatwa ni kitu ambacho it was like a trauma to her. Yaani ni kitu ambacho hawezi kusahau. Sasa ameelezea. Nakumbuka ilikuwa mwaka 2020 it's like uh, two good years ambazo zimepita. Hakuwahi kusema popote. Sasa officially amezungumzia lile tukio ambalo lilitokea. Anasema kwamba Namnuku I thought I wasn't going to come out I thought I was I was seeing it over a reason like maybe I was meant to help the people I was settling in because I adopted real quick and as I was walking into into I started to cry because they gave me my uniform and it stunk because they didn't wash it It was a small room and there was nothing there was just the floor they give they give you blankets and tissues and you're just on the floor no bed and did it for two days i didn't even know i was going to get out i didn't have any ears on the ground nobody told me anything outside everyone was like free terms free omelette but inside i was just hopeful waiting and i said kwamba um alifikiria hatokuja kutoka nje kabisa Eh, anasema katika kile chumba alipowekwa it was a small room ni, ni kichumba kidogo ambapo ni sakafu tu unapewa blanketi lako lakini pia na tishu. Anasema kwamba uh, kitu kilichomuuma zaidi ni pale ambapo alipewa uniform yake, yani zile nguo za kubadilisha pale unapoingia jela. Alivopewa zile nguo zilikuwa zina harufu mbaya. Ehe, sasa hiki ni kitu ambacho yani ni kinamtesa na ni kitu ambacho amewahi kupitia katika uh, safari ya muziki wake. Anasema alipokuwa mle ndani hakuwahi kufikiria kama atatoka na wala hakunyua kitu chochote kinachoendelea nje. Lakini alipotoka aligundua kwamba kila mtu alikuwa akipiga kelele free terms free omelay. Hao ni wasanii ambao walikamatwa. Lakini Tukumbuke kwamba pia Omalay ni, ni msanii ambaye amekuwa akiulizwa mara kadhaa kuhusiana na hili tukio. Hapendi kulizungumzia kwa mujibu wake yeye. Sasa for the very first time Thames amelizungumzia. Let's just wait for what Omalay has to say about the experience ambayo alipata alipokamatwa pale nchini Uganda. Mimi naitwa Whitney Wanda na hii ni Manara TV.